Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here. Welcome back to the savior of Skyrim with my mere many lives. Not looking much like a savior with this ominous lighting from below, this armor, that necklace. We're um, kind of just enjoying the sights, looking down at the peasants below here in Markarth. I need to oh. ask you to stop. Right, I'll Good. stop parkouring. We're back in the city with Koznak, with Barbus, and with Vigilance? Oh, oh, Vigilance is dead. Oh. Okay, so I realized during editing, but in my defense, okay, like, you guys are making it out like I killed him, which is not fair. Okay, just, okay. Just because I held the sword that struck the dog that brought it to die, doesn't mean I kill... Your Honor? Your Honor. Have you seen his hitbox? Like, there, we have a problem with dogs and hitboxes. I thought your butt was bad, Barbus. Yeah, that thing right there. Huge collider. How is this? Like, there was a former right in front of me. I was aiming for the former. What you can blame me for is not noticing. That's okay. But I was... I was... I should have hit the farmer. I should have, but I didn't. But that's okay. And then I, you know, walked by his corpse five times. I didn't see it. But it's all good. That's in the past. Dead dog under the bridge. Won't talk about that anymore. <sighs> what, what, what are you going to say to me? Hail, Conjure me up a warm don't, bed, would you? don't give me your pickup lines. We got plenty of things to do today. We're done with Kelselmo for now. He does have... He does have a little mission, though, so we're not, we're not quite done with him. That's a lie. I want to wrap up a couple of miscellaneous things around the city before we initiate Forsworn Conspiracy and the following quest and hope that nobody dies in the ensuing slaughter. That's going to be the idea. Get advice from Ingvar. What was this? Oh, of course. Well, Loverstone. What, what, why is that pointing there? Okay, so we, we got to go to Umlaug. Good old Umla, we gotta find evidence of Ogman's Talos worship. Poor guy, we gotta steal that statue. Get advice from Ingvar. Right, Ingvar has information about the girl that Kelselmo likes, because we're in grade school, I guess, and I need to find out, does she like flowers? Oh, I can talk about flowers, you know. We're gonna also do Force One Conspiracy and uh, go back and get some, some cash for what we found out so far, even though we're not quite done. We are also then going to do some miscellaneous things around the place, such as evidence, I have to get hold of the dead, we'll, we'll put off for now. There's a lot of things to do here. But, one thing at a time. What's immediately available? Uh, that would be hold of the dead over there. So nothing more in here. Let's go back outside. We've spent too long in these halls of stone. I need to be out under the sun doing Miscellaneous shenanigans with Barbus, with Kosnak, an like and no one else. And I took an arrow in the knee. Ah, good to be back. All right, let's consider Dibella. Do we go Dibella? Do, oh, yeah. You, I've been looking for you. Of course That's you do. Something I'm supposed to deliver. Of course Your you do. All right, what is it now? Let's what could this see. be? It's from. Oh, Falk Firebeard at the Blue Palace. Hey, you've got friends in high places. Yeah. Looks like that's it. Got to go. It's quite high, high, high up, on the on the solitude city place. What does he want now? Oh, no sooner have I left the city, they come begging me to come back. What do we got? Mimir, many lives. Over the last few days, I've missed you. Uh, we've had some. Disturbing information come to light regarding the events at Wolf Skull Cave and the summoning and binding ritual you interrupted there. Given your involvement with that event, I'm asking you to return to Solitude to help us once more. I'm wary of putting all the details in print. Please come see me at the Blue Palace. Sincerely, Folk Firebeard. Alright. Wolf Queen questline continues. That's something. That's nice. That is very nice indeed. Now, what are we going to do first? I think whatever just pops up in front of us first is what we end up doing. And right now, it seems like we're going to go up here. Now, here's what I want to do. Shrine of Talos. We have found out some information. We're looking for this mysterious N. Did we figure out whose N's identity is? Did we? 
Yeah, net boss. So we have to investigate him. Once you found out anything, come straight to me. Uh, Iltris, I found something. Margaret was investigating Thonar. So the clues point to the treasury house then. That makes sense. Thonar is involved in every facet of the city. Here's the gold I promised. Keep following the trail and there will be more in it for you. Also, Wailing got his orders from Nepos. Nepos the Nose? He's been in Markarth forever. And he's well respected among the natives of the Reach. Good work. Here's your gold. I have a feeling Nepos gets his own orders, though. If you find out, I'll have more for you. More? Dude. Dude. Yeah. Let me know as soon as you found it. Ah. I'll take it. Got some gold for reporting in. Another few hey, st it. steps in the quest line all done. With that, let's go see if we can find this Temple of Dibella. Because I got a dirty, dirty, drunk hey, beggar who uh, wants a golden... golden breasted lady statue from there. So, let's go. All right. Let's... Real stealth-like. Real stealth-like up in here. Thieves skills. They don't even know I'm here right now. Do I have something about stealing? I have pickpocket success. I don't think I have anything. I don't have I don't, I have sneaky rings is what I meant. I don't think I have sneaky rings. All right. Okay, we ready? I got a loud dog. Oh, what? All right, he can go in and out of reality. That's really handy, actually. Mist for a bless me. All right, they won't see me come. Do I not have any sort of spell for this? Surely I do. Don't I have like a... Oh, I could I can make my uh, footsteps quiet, right? That's something I can do. I I know my character builds. Uh, my, what is my? They, I have no builds. I'm just everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, detect life, oak flesh, stone flesh, telekinesis. I thought alteration was muting my footsteps. No, it would be uh, illusion. Okay. All right, muffle, dude. The perfect crime. <laughs> Mister, bless me. Here we go. The sisters oh. are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. This is a bad start. We'll have to come back another time. All right, I'll come back another time. I'm gone. Say ya. You. She sees me. <laughs> she sees me. She knows exactly where I am. Let me pretend. Let me live in the fantasy that I'm a master thief. Okay, sneaking in on a daring, daring theft, looking for the golden, the golden glory. Of Dibella. Key to Temple of Dibella Inner Sanctum. I'm in. <laughs> now you be quiet, Barbus. This is a stealth mission. You know what stealth means? Exactly. No buffs. Dibella, guide oh. us. Dibella, guide us. All right. They won't know what hit them. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, easy. I just sneak right past. They won't. Right, let's go. Let's go. Check this out. Check this out. Choo -choo. Woo! I mean, while I'm in the neighborhood, what we got here? Go. Lead us to your Sybil. Lead us to your Sybil, huh? Well, I got no time for this. I'm here to steal something. Oh, boy. How long do my footsteps last? It was three minutes. We should be fine. And then we take some of this while we're here. Dude, thief gameplay. What is this? Kijord? Bella, guide us. Fools. Absolute fools. <laughs> now then. Yes. Yes. The soul gems. This is what I came for. Bye bye now. <laughs> That's silly, Barbus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get the I'll get the statue. Statue of Dibella. Hubba hubba. Alright. Let's let's go. Very good. Very go. Oh. No. No. Hide. Hide, Barbus. Find somewhere to hide. She doesn't know. It was, it was just random chance, Barbus. How, how could you know we're here? We don't have any... Any... Auditory signs giving... Barbus, you be quiet. You be quiet. We're fine. She doesn't know we're here. She doesn't know we're here? I thought for sure she was coming to bust. Okay. Okay. Plot thickens. Uh, Barbus, we need to get out now. Perfect stealth jump. Dude. 
I am the greatest. Except for the fact that I kind of want to talk to this lady, so... I just want to show you that I could have gotten away unseen. But... I have some business. Uh, or do I... No, let's, 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 let's come back. Let's come back. I did it. I did it stealthily. We can't... They do have a quest for us here at the temple, but I'd like to just... I did this. I, I don't want to be caught. I don't want the quest to think I got caught. I... Dude, we're back. I got the key. Alright. I was never here. I was never here. Farewell. Just like a thief would. You wield Azura Star? <laughs> That's all they care about here in Markarth. I got so much bling on me. Azura Star is like, oh, how's that possible, dude? Also, how do you sense it on me? You must have a great aura. Alright, Mistfire blessed me. I'm not gonna die. I'm too great to die. Famous last words. The game's probably drinking his days away at the Silverblood Inn. The Silver Blood Inn no, he's out pretending to work, maybe. Or chilling in the Warrens. That might be. Who else is here? Ogmans! You're so cool. You're not who I'm looking for. I'm looking for that sad excuse of a man. The One of the Smelter Boys. Og... 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 Hathros, where's your friends? Not Ogman, but like Og Omlog. Omla Umluog. There, there we go. Drinks here are watered down, but they're cheap. I can miss Molosh to ease up a bit. <laughs> I don't believe it. Mm. Someone sticking up for us? Mm -hmm. Here, it's a week's wages for me, but you've earned every coin. Ah. Perfect. All right, then. 600 gold, though? That's, you know, you can get by on 600 gold a week. Just here to drink. Just here to drink. Ugh. I'm Good. gruff. See you again, friend. Where's the gain? Where are they? Have we spoken much with? Right, you're at the you're the market people. Unlike my husband Clever, I, I... watch after our guests. Oh, that's great. What that's great. That Just bring me into the family drama. Hey, the gain. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's oh. get some mead. Hold on, before bring I give you mead, gold. I'm gonna need some alcohol. This is the silver blood. We have a, Take a look. alcohol quests, so I'm gonna buy. What's it, what, what I what I want to get him though? That's the thing. Some basic ale. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this man some blackbriar meat. Remember, ale is because I can. I said alms, you have a drink on me. Ale or mead? I got some blackbriar meat. How about that? What do you think? Tell everyone you see to bring me some septums. Ah, uh, yeah. Come on, party. F okay, I thought he was gonna do. All right, well, quest complete either way. I have the statue. Give it to me quickly before they see us together. You've riled up the priestesses, and the guards don't take kindly to that. Here's your share. Nicely done. They don't have a clue I was in there. Come on. Stealth gods, some would call me. Okay, those were two of those quests taken care of that I wanted to you. get. I've seen you snooping around and asking questions. No. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. What happens? I'm curious. Funny. This is your last warning, outsider. I keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. Well, you're doing a shit job. Sorry. Pardon me. That wasn't me. That was Mimir. Kolb and the dragon. That's okay. I, I, I haven't noticed this before. I only saw it now in the, the, the light of the little fire here. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier. All right. We probably should have. Uh, it seems like the, the quest in the temple is kind of set up for being discovered by them. Because they don't like the whole riled up the priestesses. But I mean, they would notice that the statue of Dibella is gone. So that's all right. Let's. Let's let's go say sorry. OK, I have a Trouble. bad. I don't. I just, my conscience, man. Can't stand having done something like this. Listen, I'm so sorry, but you you have I'm so many. Sorry. The temple of Dibella is Hi there. Uh, who's Sabella? Is there a temple? A heathen. Lovely. Oh, don't put on that angry look. I'm just teasing you. Dibella is the divine of beauty. She is a patron deity to artists and bards and those who seek life's simple pleasures. The temple offers her blessings to pilgrims, an instruction in enjoying all life has to offer. Hmm. Instruction? Where do I sign up? Well, you are lovely to look at. And there's so many things I could teach you. 
But I'm afraid the temple isn't taking in new students. Oh. Well, at least she said I'm lovely to look at. It's the kindest thing I've heard. Debella's blessing to you. In a long time. Trying to Debella. Bless, bless, blessed be. Blessed be Debella. Let's go to the inner sanctum. Why not? I can go where I want. What's going on, sisters? Hope you're not missing any statues around here. All right. And just what do you think you're doing? I, uh, I was curious about the temple. Unfortunately for you, we don't allow men into the inner sanctum. Uh, you have committed a breach and must pay the penalty. Hey, what is the penalty? Normally, a quick death. Uh, Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. What use is that? The ceremony you so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellin Sibyl. I don't expect you to know what that means. Suffice to say that our Sibyl was recently lost to us. Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sibyl, to the north in a small village pressed against the stone. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sibyl, your transgression will be forgiven. I will undertake this penance. Where is the village? We believe the place in our vision to be Carthwaston. Hmm. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. All right, the heart of Debella. Anything else in it for me? Have you heard of the blessing of Debella? <gasps> it can help you with the wooing of women if that's your aim. Or give you strength if you happen to offend one. Okay. Typically, we avoid bestowing it upon men, but for the Sybil's escort, we could make an exception. All right, all right. What is a Sybil? The Sybil of Debella spends her entire life in direct communion with the goddess. From the time she's a little girl to the moment she expires, she is a direct connection with the Heavenly Mother. From her reverie, we know the mind of our god. We have had a vision of the next Sybil, living in a village to the north. She must be brought to the temple for her reverie to begin. The girl is just taken from her family? It's considered a great honor for the family. Their daughter will never know hardship, and the goddess blesses them with great bounty. Why is this all such a secret? We prefer not to announce that the Sybil has died until we can introduce the new one. People like to know that we're connected to the goddess. Okay. Until next time. The wooing of woo, wooing of women, you say? Well, maybe maybe um, Mimir's going into a new stage of this journey. Maybe he has to start thinking about settling down and whether or not it will be an orc wife. Just I've had some dreams lately, okay? Just I think Mimir needs all the help he can get. She kind of got stuck there on the on the statue. That's okay. All right. Probably should have gotten busted on the way out. But I wanted to show that I don't... Uh, I'm pretty cool. With that, Heart of the Bella. We also talked to Umlaug and... Degain. And that's... It's starting to look pretty good, actually. Now, this Ingvar. I don't recall who this Ingvar is. But I also have some Forsworn uh, things to look into here. But if we look at the, the local map... Oh boy. Ogman's house. I guess we got it. We should do that. Nepos's house. The treasury house. Oh, he, okay, he's in the treasury house. Then we have the whole of the debts. Let's save. Let's save Nepos for now. Let's do Ogman and the treasury house. That sounds like a misfire. Bless me! Lame book title. Oh, yes. I'm going to read Ogman and the treasury house. Mm. And the house of treasures would be more. What can I do for you, friend? Trouble? Me? Nah. I'm here for <gasps> Ingvar. Anyone seen him? I'm Petrid. Thonar Silverblood. Yeah. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. Thonar, what is your deal? Can I just ask you straight up, what is what your are deal? You doing here? I told them no visitors. I'm here to talk about Margaret. The Imperial agent. That's <gasps> right. I knew. How many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business. My city. You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Now get out! Yeah. I'm what? a busy... What? 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 Uh-oh. That's not good. 
Jesus, Betrin's dead. The janitors are attacking us. All right. Freaking Forsworn in disguise. I just wanted a nice chat with... Oh, Betrid. Oh, boy. Well, she... Bye-bye, Betrid. All right. Try to hit the right ones here. Okay. I think we're hitting Forsworn. Also, Koznak is with me, guys. He's, he's good. Don't worry about him. He just likes to dress up. Oh, boy. Got him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, he's forsworn backside. Oh boy. Will you talk now? Fine. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting at Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. Aha. Uh -huh. You made a deal with the forsworn? When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. Want me to take care of Madanak? You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. You and Madanak are animals. And I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. I... Now get out of my house. No, I have more questions. I have more dialogue options. Get out of my house. You now. son of a... All right. Nana, huh? Markarth Treasury House key, in case I didn't have that. And, uh, sorry about the... The death of your wife twice. Where'd she go? Where did she go? We only have the... I don't know. Get out of my house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a sec. She reanimated. And then she ran. I don't see her. Oh, well. I guess she, her body will be resting in peace then. Let's, let's not get into trouble. I just... I'm sensing some bad vibes in here, okay? Regardless. Blood and silver, friend. Ingvar. And silver. Vibes a little weird in here, but I got questions. Just turn around and leave the city. That's the smart move. No, 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 no. I'm tr I'm trying to woo a girl on behalf of another man. I heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Uh, no. Uh, uh, it's not for me. It's for Kelselmo. Kelselmo. Is he interested in Feline? Yeah. That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Hmm. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Oh, yes, mister. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. Ah, yeah. Journal love poem. So I am sorry about your wife. But where is her body? Has she already passed on from this? The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. <sighs> All right. Don't here. That's okay. I don't. I don't feel very welcome in the treasury house. But all is good. No guards are throwing me in Sidna Mine yet. That's very good. False, empty threats, really. Now. Should we go deliver the letter? Let's first... Let, let's find Ogman's Talos Worship, because the Thalmor are also at the keep, and I gotta... I gotta throw Ogman under the bridge, and it doesn't feel good, but... It has to be done. So, Mr. Guard, if you could just look the other way, thank you. <laughs> he literally turned when I said that. I have the whole city in my pocket. You will obey me. Key to Ogman's house. All right, Ogman's. It's time. All right. Evidence of Talos worship. 
Surely. You have that in there. Don't. Oh, shh, Barbus. Nothing in the chest. Suspicious. All right, all right, all right. End table. Iron of clothing. Wow, what's over here? Oh, very suspicious. I should confiscate these. It might be Talos coins. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Another chest. I like this little thing. This little dummy he's made with a with a war axe chopped in it. That's great. That's very cool. Snake increase. Augman's amulet of Talos. Oh boy. I also believe this is one of the items that can be pickpocketed back from the quest recipient. So we should keep that in mind. You know what? I yeah. I was gonna say I'd bring it back to him, but I kind of want to collect it myself. Sneak thief. A man can't walk around at dusk in thieves' killed armor without being called sneak thief. This is the fourth era, people. I thought we were. I thought we moved on from this. Let's go. Understone Keep. Let's find Feline and uh, let's read this letter. Whatever it may be. Love poem. Oh boy. A missive from Kelselmo to Feline. My lover's heart is numbing stone that hides in ice beneath our sight. So some decree it is not there, while others whisper, yet it might. Though stone is born from fevered ash, once formed it yields no whiff of heat. So too her heart betrays no love, nor comforts those embracing it. As mountains grow and yearn for sky, then climbers conquering ascent. With chisel rope, with axe and pick, they force the rock to yield to them. One peak stands proud amidst a range, invincible and scaled by none. Those men who try wash down her slopes, their eye-born streams so bleakly run. For brash assault could never pierce those guarded depths that lay apart. But patient water gently shapes a fertile channel to the heart. My love is delving water ice that cracks with cycles of the sun. A lapping, yearning, whispered plea will mark the time till I rush in. For I have dwelt among the rocks, my city carved from rugged stone. So in that burrow I will creep and warm the soul which makes my home. Oh boy, Calcimo gonna be busy tonight. Let's, let's, let's see here. Wolves. We're looking for Thalmars. We're looking for Faelene. It's a little late though. It's 1 a.m. Maybe I don't approach her in the middle of the night. Hey, I got a love poem for you. Been looking all over for you. I don't have to say it in that voice either. I could probably find a, a better voice. <gasps> Is that Vigilance? Look, everybody. It's Vigilance. He's, he's, he's back. He was here all along. <laughs> Oh, and it's Vigilance's brother. That's... This... This is... This is great. Everything's good. Alright. Got the orc guy, Gorsa Grobal, going to work. Who, uh... Alright. Well, go, here comes... Here comes everybody else. Alright, let's start with the Pleasant Thalmor gang. The Thalmor, if you see any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. I found this amulet in Ogman's house. Ah, there we have it. This will be all I need to have Ogman taken care of. I would like to personally thank you on behalf of myself and the Thormor for your assistance. Here, for your work. A thousand gold. Well, at least the Thalmor pays well. Say what you will about them. Until but they pay time. you well when you brought out someone for their beliefs so that he will probably be interrogated in terrible ways. But, Mistfire, bless me, it's time to steal it back. I'm taking it back because it's a collectible item. It's one of those things that don't disappear. Which also makes me wonder if the Satchel de Bella gave to Degain disappeared or is in his inventory. That's something to check out. All right, they're, they're watching me. They're watching me. Am I that suspicious? Okay, maybe a little. Alright, I need to get to him. Maybe if I talk to... Okay. No, stop. No, don't. There we go. Let's keep these, these girls busy over here. Yes, he's stuck on the dogs. 
There are so few pleasures in life as fine as your company. I agree. I agree, dude. But I, I need the... I, or, or doesn't it matter if you... I, I don't want to be seen. Yes, but... Can you go somewhere else now? Am I really that interesting to you? Trust the guy. Oh, I think it's, it's the dog. The dog was blocking him. Okay. Checks out, actually. Okay, okay, okay. Check this out, though. This is, this is terrible. Because if we go... He still has the Amulet of Talos. 78% steal. Should be easy. But it's going to cause a ruckus, right? So, it... I keep forgetting how it works, and you guys keep explaining it. But, like, if it's... If I... If I take something successfully, but there's an eye... Is it unseen, or do I get it, but they catch me? Or is it just that it lowers the chance of it actually happening? Check this out. Mr. Bless me. Don't even think about it. I don't need to think about it, because I did it. Flawless execution. All right. There we go. Failing. Dude, don't call me out. Stop being at the Arnleif and Sons trading. <laughs> I've never heard that line before. <laughs> Custom recorded from Mimir. Hey, uh, hey, uh, yeah, you're feeling all right, all right. I see how it is. I got a poem. As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. Uh, yes, I have a poem I'd like you to read. Pardon me? It's from Calcimo. Please. I'm not sure what this is all about. Uh, give poem. This is lovely. Calcelmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. He cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Am I the only one who thinks this is a terrible basis for a relationship? You know? A lie. Isn't this what all TV shows, when they have an episode where they, you know, they go on a date, but they have an earpiece and someone else is feeding them the right words? Isn't the message of those episodes always at the end, oh, just be yourself and don't try... But it's okay. If it works, it works. Let's read that response, though, because I'm, I'm a snoop. I'm a snoopy boy. What can I say? Uh, letter to Calcimo. What is letter from Rogatus? Oh, that's uh, that's the father at the farm outside who wants me to take it to his son. Um, let's read that too. Why not? Because I've forgotten about it. Leontius, you idiot. When were you thinking of visiting your family? When your mother was buried in the ground or after some damned wizard rose all my crops? You make plans to come back to the farm this season or I'll put all your old things in a pile and use them as firewood. Your father, <laughs> Rogatus. <laughs> Ah, dude. Familial bonds. There we go. My dearest Kelselmo, I always knew you to possess a great mind, but your charming poem revealed a depth of feeling I never suspected. I'll admit to being a bit surprised at the direction of your feelings, but not unpleasantly so. Oh, let us meet to discuss further. Yours, Faelene. All right, I was kind of teasing this for being like a grade school, like, past notes thing, but I'm, dude, I'm feeling it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let, let, let's let them know. Whoa, I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him. All he ever explores are ancient, dusty Dwemer tombs. It's about time he explores love. Good to see Skyrim. Why do I always turn to you, Icontar? Why are you here you just to confuse me? Hope. I I'm gonna give an old man a whole lot. I things to study. What is it? I have a letter from Faelene. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. Oh, yes, of course. What? Oh, goodbye. Of of course, of course. I I'm not gonna be in your way. Oh, he's running. Oh, dude, he's going. Oh, this is amazing. Screw the Forsworn Conspiracy. Kelsimo's love life is now the main quest of Markarth. This should count as... Yeah, not just main quest of Markarth, just main quest in general. You have to take a detour from the dragons to help out Kelsimo. 
That's that's amazing. All right. Here we go. Here we go. He, he's, he's he's running. Oh boy. Staying safe. I hope. Colleen, I. Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say any more. Oh boy. I had no idea you were so nuanced. Forsworn have troubled you. the reach for too long. So I, I intend to deal with them. Come here, you. Oh. That's. You guys are so. What a what a You're scene. someone who can get things done. I like that. Yeah. All right. All right. The artifact I've discovered. And he's back to the artifacts. Right? Okay. What was it all for? Well, now we can return back to Dinya in Riften with that little love quest completed. That's lovely. All right. Heart of the Bella. Karthwasten, again, we're uh, not really going to be trekking back there immediately. So that's just something to keep in mind that we're looking for that. Other than that, Forsworn Conspiracy. And of course, we have some other miscellaneous quests from here. Ooh, we do have the Hall of the Dead, actually. Um, and then, yeah, we do have the Hall of the Dead. And then we have some other quests that take us out of town and then back to town. We have Hall of the Deads. So I think. Do I want to do, sure, let's just let's, 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 let's do Hole of the Dead while we're here. Let's just investigate the Hole of the Dead and just see what we find. No problem. And then we can do Force One Conspiracy and subsequent quest as the finale. Because now we're now we're now we're now we're starting to get to the bottom of things. Alright, so Barbus, Cosmac. True, not many is as stupid as I. Gear up. Save your caring too much to be... That's... Offensive to me. I'm going to do... Necromancer Eminent Wielding. And then, I mean, we have the Circle of Extreme Magicka. That's cool. Yeah. I feel the hunger inside of you. Gnawing at you. You see the dead. Your mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. What? It's all right. I will not shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything you have forgotten. Who's here? Koznak is... Nah, wouldn't be Koznak. He doesn't sound that cute. All right, it's a shrine. I'm gonna need RK in my life for what's to come. Ooh. Oh, 2920, Volume 4, Rain's Hand. Good year, good year. Hey. You were young huh? when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? A brother or sister had died. An accident, of course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? It's okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. Guilt? What are you talking about? A lot of our kind block out the memory of their first meal. The shame is too much. But you don't need to hide anymore. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. She has a place for us where we can sate our appetites without judgment. Where is this place? It's inside Reachcliff Cave. But the dead have stirred from their slumber recently, and I was forced here. Meet me there. We will fight our way to Namira's embrace together. Until then, tell the people of Markarth that their dead won't be disturbed anymore. We have bigger plans ahead. The taste of death. Alright, Reachcliff Cave. Well then. I think we have, uh, I have some, um... Reflecting to do. I love how Koznak just casually backhanded, uh, Let's get backhanded going. her. I need you to do something. Fine. What? I need you to what? forget about the fact that I just made a deal with a cannibal. Forget it. I don't do that kind of work. No. Oh. Nani. Koznak. That it? <sighs> okay. Somehow that mercenary guy back at the tavern, whose name I don't even remember. It's a lot more tempting. 
think we have to swap out Cosnack. I mean, it's great that we can give him a drink, but honestly, it's a tomb. Who did, nobody, if you don't own it if you're dead. It's, it's a free-for-all then. So... <sighs> Alright, Barbus. Verilis! You've returned. What happened in the Hall of the Dead? Hey, Hall of the Dead is safe now, buddy. Divines preserve you. Mm. You're a hero. We'll reopen the hall right away. Here, take my amulet as a reward. Amulet of RK. Well, isn't that lovely? RK protect you. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm sure that counts as a... Maybe that, that probably counts as a quest in itself, and then Taste of Death is just a, a quest that starts in the smaller quests. Very cool. So Lady of Decay has taken notice of us. And uh, now there's some cannibal meeting. You know, just a yearly cannibal convention. And <laughs> we're invited. <laughs> okay. That's... That's quite something. Cool beans. For now, I've promised you to gather some evidence on Nepos. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's get to the bottom of this Forsworn conspiracy stuff. There's been a lot of different threads today, but that's sort of what I hope is the red one. Let's... Whoa, right over there. <laughs> yeah. Good question, dude. I'm still trying to figure that out. I work silver, like my father. I didn't His ask. Father before him. Now then. That boss's house. Misfire, bless me. I'm going in. All right, you again. You again. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we look at each other, we're like, oh, you again, you again. I'm here to see Nepos. We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Oh. Send him in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. I think I will. I'll make a save here, just because I can, and we will make our way inside. <coughs> Nepos. The man. The myth. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? I know about Waylon. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths, all in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Why? Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Why are you telling me all this? My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Uh, who's Madanak? He is the King in Rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city, directs them to kill the enemies of the Force One in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine, a Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. You mentioned an uprising. Mark Earth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Force One. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. Hmm, well, ah. Uh, oh, uh, look at the time. I have somewhere to be, you see. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, looks like we're in deep now. We're in freaking Force Worn territory. Yeah, yeah. It was all a setup. Not a long queue. Straight up. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dude, Nepos is actually competent. I'm gonna need to just have some Amami's vegetable soup in my tummy. And then we can go. 
Yeah. Don't you hurt my dog. I only have one of them left. Yeah. All right. That was almost down. Take down you. Yeah. And then you. Yeah. Way, Whaley. You were a bad egg from the moment I saw you hatch. Or something. Now. End this. Barb has wanted to get in on that. Uh. Well, Koznak, look at his eyes. <laughs> he, he is just... Yeah, he's lost it. And I, I get why. We're killing Force One in the city dressed as that. Kita Nepos's house. Parkkeeper's clothes and shoes. Morven. Tynan. Nepos. His journal. Excellent. Let's have a look at his journal. I grow guilt-ridden in my old age. So many of the young sent to their deaths. All in the name of the Forsworn. All in the name of Madanak. My king, who watches us from behind the iron bars of Sidna Mine. How long have I served you? Since the uprising against the Nords, was there ever a time when all that violence hasn't overshadowed our destinies? What choice do I have but to do as I am instructed? Well, well. I got evidence now, so... You're going down, sir. It's finally at an end. The insurrections. The upri- who, ya who yawned? That was you, right? Okay. I thought for a second there was someone else in here yawning. That, that would be terrifying. Well, well, well. So far, so good. Let's... Let's report back what we've learned about Nepos. Hey, we good? Out of my way, kinsman. Okay. By the way, like... Father, someone else. Reberus, was he the guy that we delivered the... Like the because we were... You know, you remember the... Let, let's go a couple of episodes back. The stallion potion, wink, wink. Remember that? We delivered it to the wrong guy, kind of. Uh, we were supposed to deliver it to the steward, but we delivered it to the guy who will be steward if there's a change in power in who controls the city, uh, which isn't like supposed to happen, but it happened. So that was interesting. Just kind of gave it to the, the wrong guy straight off the bat, and the game just kind of accepted it, so I, I went along with it. That's why I was so confused when we stood by the steward, like, I was supposed to bring you something, wasn't I? Regardless. Good times all around. Ah. <sighs> something ominous going on. Everybody's just very quiet around the city. This is Mistfire, bless me. What, like, what are you doing? You look like you're considering pushing her. This, there's just an there's just a contemplation in the air. Anyways, hopefully I get another bit of mirror. We warned you, but you had to just go and cause trouble. Ah. Uh, now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence, witnesses. Work, work, work. What did you do to? Oh, hold on. What do I want to say? Madanax behind these killings. You think you're the only one who knows that? We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanach until you showed up. You'll have plenty of time to take it up with the king in rags while you're serving a life sentence in Sidna Mine. Son of a... <sighs> For the sake of... Moving things along smoothly and not... Bugging out. Fine. I'll come quietly, but I will grumble. You'll never see the sun again, you hear me? No one escapes Sidna Mine. No one. That's such a good scene. It, uh, it, it, it gives me an info about jail. I haven't been in jail. I'm a good boy. That is actually such a good right, scene. Prisoner, no one escapes Sidna You're Mine. Sidna no Mine. one. All right. And we expect you to earn your keep. All right. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little deaf in this ear. 
Don't get smart with me. I'm in charge. You keep it up, I'll have your toes cut off. Oh, yikes. All right. Open her up. Now you, get down there. How did that door open, ma'am? Can you explain to me that... Wait, Barbus? Koznak? No one escapes it in a mine? Well, well, looks like we're... Back to... Oh, this is... Oh, I still got four void salts, a silver garnet ring, and a... Dude, that's so nice. That's so kind of them. This reminds me of that moment in Marina series where we did that... The prank, right? The prank quest where we make the entire dinner party undress and we lost our entire inventory. And the game was really hard because we didn't have our stuff. Um, yeah. So, we gotta figure out how we... How we get out of this mess. Well, everybody, we're certainly in it now. This is gonna be the final big quest we do in Markarth before we hopefully find a way to escape Sidnamine, even though no one escapes. No one. And then we can figure out the fate of Markarth and the Forsworn. We got a choice to make as well, so it'll be interesting to see what we end up with. But something tells me it's, it's always gonna stray towards chaos. But have a still good day. Take care. And stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye. Yeah.